Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about house hacking. This is one of my favorite ways to go about investing in real estate. In fact, the very first three houses, not first, but one, two, and three, right? Houses that I ever bought, I bought via house hacking. It is such an awesome strategy. So guys, what is house hacking? hacking well it's simple it's essentially buying a house and you can buy it a lot of ways there's a lot of creative ways to go buy a house that doesn't require any of your own money or very little of your money or you can buy it with cash or you can go get a loan and the first three I personally did I had a loan on um, and I also borrowed the money from friends and family for the 20% down so I essentially bought my first three houses with none of my own money. I borrowed money for the 20%. I was in college at the time, so I even had to go get co-signers on my loans. But I had friends and family that trusted me and they were interested in learning from, from this experience as well. So they were able to lend me the money and they were able to co-sign on these deals. But again, what is it? It is you buying a house or taking control of a property and then renting out the additional rooms. So the very first property I bought was a four bedroom, two bath home, and I bought it and I moved into one of those bedrooms. Well, that leaves three additional bedrooms. So what I do with those additional bedrooms, I rented them out. My mortgage on this property was about 900 a month and I was bringing in uh, about $1,100 a month from the rent of the other three bedrooms. So I was actually able to cash flow on the very first property I bought and I lived in it. It was a primary residence, but it was also an investment property because I rented it out while I lived there and I moved out and I've been renting that property out since I moved out. That was about 15 years ago. I was 20, 35 today. So 15 years ago, I did this and I actually did this on my second and my third house. I went, did the exact same thing. Got some friends that were willing to loan me some money, had some family co-sign on the loan, used 20% that I borrowed, 80% from the loan, got the second property, moved in, rented out the other two bedrooms. This particular house number two was a three bedroom property. And then I did it once again on the third and final house that I bought while I was in college. And that one was also a four bedroom. I moved into it. I rented out the additional bedrooms and it more than paid for the mortgage. Now, a lot of people might do this with a duplex or a triplex or even a four family. You can get a loan to move into these properties and you can rent out the additional rooms and or units. It's an awesome way to get involved in real estate investing. The barriers to entry are rather low compared to other approaches and it's a great way to lock in a long-term loan right whenever you are buying an investment property typically they're not going to want to give you longer term loans they're going to give you higher interest rates well when you do it this approach you can buy these homes as single family primary residences essentially and you can rent out the other rooms live there for however long you want and then you can do it all over again. So house hacking, I highly recommend it. It is simply buying a house and renting out the rest of the rooms or the rest of the units. Hopefully you will be able to cover your mortgage payments um, from the additional rent that you're collecting. But even if you're not, most cases it's gonna cover 60, 70, maybe even 80 or 90% of what the mortgage is. So it's another way to reduce your cost of living while you are living there. House hacking is one of my favorite strategies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to real estate investing, get out there, buy a house, rent out the additional rooms, and you can learn more about this strategy in our free wholesale course located at freewholesalecourse.com. Thanks for watching, guys.